Hey, this is Brian with King Grizzly. Today we're looking at trying to get an SVG icon to actually size properly in Elementor. So in Elementor, there's there's nice little icon widgets where you can upload your own SVG or choose one from a library and put it in. Um, problem I've run into is I, I use Figma uh, for design and, and when I export SVGs from there, like this learn and grow one, if I click on it and I wanna mess with the size of that book icon, it's just not working properly. Something about the way the SVG is, is written. Um, however, the one here in the middle, I exported from Illustrator. And uh, as you can see, it works as expected. So I'll show you how I did that. Um, I guess I'll start by showing you what, what I copied out of Figma. Okay, so we've got our our Figma files here and I just kind of clicked down what I had done before is I just clicked on this icon group and I clicked export and I exported an SVG um, but I want this little book um, and then I'm going to right click it and then oh shucks it's off the screen just a second come on there we go I'm going to copy it but I'm going to copy it as an SVG. If I click that, then I go over to Illustrator, I can paste it in. So I've already done that here. And what I did is I went ahead and I put a like a transparent box, basically something with 0% opacity behind all these icons, just so that they're all the same size, because the icons themselves were a tiny bit different. So anyway, the book here, um, I can, there's an asset export panel in Illustrator I can drag this into. Uh, if you didn't see that by default, you can turn it on by going to Window and then finding it. So I'm just going to call it Icon, what is it called? Learn and Grow. And I'll export that. And then I do an extra step um, where I actually squish the icon down using a program called SVGO. That's a separate discussion, but then I should be able to import that. Well, actually I'll show you. So this is my terminal window. This may seem really nerdy, but um, you can install something on it that squishes SVGs down. So um, you can see I've previously processed some and I've got them down to, what are those, kilobytes? Um, kilobits. I'm not sure. They're small. Um, so that's one advantage of SVGs. Um, so if you're interested, I'll put it in the notes uh, how to, where to get SVGO and how that works. Um, but basically, I just run a command and it squishes all those. So I'm going to go back to Firefox and this learn and grow. I'm going to replace that icon, upload SVG. Icon, learn and grow, insert, and now I should be able to control it. Oops, wrong button, wrong slider. Yeah, so it's something about the way Illustrator outputs its code versus the way Figma does. I mean, if you open an SVG file in a code editor, like if I open this with Sublime, icon I just made it's actually a bunch of code so I'm sure if you compared the way illustrators writing its code to the way it's written in Figma there'd be a difference and also SVGO is is further simplifying this so there, there's something about that whole combination there um, that's giving Elementor some trouble anyway hopefully that helps somebody out I know it's not 100% the reason explaining the reason why there's an issue but at least you can get some scalable SVGs into your site. All right, thanks.